bacteria are important group of plant pathogen that cause plant diseases. Today we will talk about some of the important symptoms that bacteria can produce on the plant. The very common symptom of bacterial infection is an angular water soaked lesion on the leaf. A lot of times these uh, lesions are in between the leaf vein. Often these lesions start from the edge of the leaf and are brown to black color and in extreme stressful condition the leaf can turn yellow as well. Yellow hollow is another typical symptom where you have this yellow margin on the outer side of the lesion and you have this dead tissue at the center of the lesion which might fall off giving a short hole appearance. Some of the bacteria produce the necrotic blight. They also exist in between the leaf vein, like this in border paradise. At the extreme condition, the blight area falls off, giving the short hole appearance like this. Unlike fungal infection, you don't see any colorful margin, concentric rings of spots, and any fungal fruiting bodies with a bacterial infection. The simple test for bacterial infection is the bacterial streaming test, where you put the infected plant on the water and you see the stream of bacteria population coming out as a ooze. Some of the bacteria infection disintegrate the tissue on the crown and cause the rotting. For example, this is the bulb rot caused by irony and the desert rose. Some of the bacteria are vascular pathogen that blocks the water conducting tissue like xylem and causes the wilting of the plant at the end. Let's talk about some of the management tools that you can use to control bacterial diseases. Number one is a biological method. So botanical extract from giant root knot is one of the effective biological against different bacterial diseases. Bacillus is the common used bacteria, gram positive bacteria to control various bacterial plant diseases. Second management tool is the chemical bactericide. The only chemical bactericide available to control bacterial diseases are copper bactericide and mancojeb. There are different formulations of copper, copper oxide, copper sulfate, copper hydroxide, and these formulations affect the stability, efficacy of the copper products. Mancojeb is uh, also another heavy best bactericide where you have a lot of zinc and manganese on it. Uh, the important thing when you're using these uh, heavy metal bactericide is you need to be careful you are not spraying when plants are stressed and they also result in a lot of heavy residue on your plants. And those residue can be really problematic for some of the ornamental plants that have a big leaf like ficus lyrata, they stay inside the leaf, cause residue and reduce the ornamental value of the crop. Third management tool is the sanitation. There are different disinfectants that you can use to clean your irrigation line, plant surface, floor, soilless media using product like hydrogen peroxide, peroxyacetic acid, quaternary ammonium chloride, and others. Sanitation also involves using clean, healthy, pathogen-free planting material and also removing the infected sick plants from the field as soon as possible. Last but not the least important management strategy is the optimal water management. Overhead irrigation should be avoided as much as possible. There should be enough spacing between the plants so that water can dry on the leaves as early as possible. So avoiding that leaf wetness period will help prevent the bacterial infection. Even though there are limited tools available, utilizing these tools early in the production season as a preventive tool can help us manage this bacterial disease in a significant manner.